to a really good start in that one. What did you make of your players' performance? I thought it was a gritty, determined performance against a side that's been going very well, especially away from home. Um, the conditions were tough first half. I think they must have brought the win with them because it, it died down second half. Um, and we had to battle and stay in the game, but we got off to a great start. Fabulous goal. And um, they were dangerous opponents, but I don't think they've had a shot on target. Um, we've had a, possibly a couple of chances, but it's a tight game and it's a League Two game. And um, be all and end all is, is, is getting the points and we've, we've, we've managed to, to claim a, 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 a precious three points. They had uh, large spells of possession and pressure, but I thought Northampton looked very dangerous on the break and you did have most of the chances in the second half. Do you feel like you should have put the game to bed perhaps? Yeah, possession don't win games of football. Goals win games of football. So yeah, I, I understand um, you know, in terms of they had, they, had the, they had the ball and they played quite a, an open and expansive game. Full, both full backs um, pushed right on and gave us a problem. And as I said, they're a decent side and they're going well. Um, but uh, we had the better chances and uh, yeah, we were a little bit disappointed. Joel Byron's gone clean through on goal, possibly should score. Um, we've had a couple of goal mouth scrambles and, um, and Dominic's um, possibly should score. Um, and obviously when against spirited opponents because they are they've got a, a lot of very good players and uh, uh, and the manager's an up and coming manager and he wants to win uh, which we, we which we fully expect we knew that they'd go to the end uh, but we've seen the game out pretty pretty comfortably um we've had a a great challenge in the in in, in the last minute but apart from that i think we were we, we were pretty comfortable in in a, in a difficult game that's your first clean sheet now in yeah. 12 so you must be happy with that yeah definitely that's what we needed um, as I said, it's not all, all about you know how pretty you play and what your movement's like. Sometimes it's just sticking the ball in the back of the net and keeping the ball out of the back of your net. And uh, that's long overdue because we feel we've got some good defenders at the football club. Um, and it was strange really because at the start of the season, the first two or three games, we had the three clean sheets. So that'll give them confidence. And I think, as I said, Adam's done not had anything to do and no shots on target. So tough old game, yeah, conditions um, tricky. But back to yet again, I think we were 300 supporters short of a full house, which was an unbelievable effort yet again from the, the people that that, uh, that, that come and, and, and support us. And uh, now we won't, won't be too bothered about how we play tonight. They'll be just bothered about where we are in the league. And, and the third position is a, is a great position for us. Third position and now unbeaten in five. So you've got some real momentum as well to build on. Well, yeah, but we, as I said, we know it's League Two and... We came unstuck about three or four weeks ago at, at, at Cambridge and got back on on the bike and went and went again and that's what it's all about. We have to stick runs together because there's some some big hitting teams in this league um, and um, there's a lot of quality, especially at the top well, at the top of the league. So we have to be consistent with our performances and, and results and, and we managed to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's good. It's a good feeling. It was a tough old game. And with everything else that's going on off the pitch as well, Chris. It hasn't affected your players in a negative way. So how pleasing is that for you? You must be really proud of their performances. Just being outstanding. I can't give them enough praise. Um, the way, you know, um, the players have gone about the business. Uh, the supporters have been believe first class. I think a massive mention. You know, none of the staff, none of the the players. Apart, sorry, only the players are, are getting play, paid. None of the staff are getting paid. So you know, for them to turn up, you know day in day out and uh, and do what they have to do to give myself uh, the coaching staff and the players uh, the platform to go and get resources is, is, is incredible so uh, you know maybe that's a that's a result for the for, for the for the staff today and the supporters have, as I said have been outstanding and they they know where we're at um, and hopefully I'll be out see uh, see if I've got enough money to go and buy a packet of strepsils to to uh, to sort me throw out <laughs> well good luck with that thanks, thanks very, very much, much for talking to us thanks